No. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again for our second live sale. My name is Tim. This is Over the Years. And this is Josie, <laughs> my girlfriend and lovely, lovely assistant here. Hello. And my Duke will be here in the background uh, handing me items as well. We want to welcome everybody again. Uh, we had a blast last Monday. We hope everybody enjoyed everything and had a good time. We have curated a whole new lineup of things for you guys this evening. We have, what is it? How many total pieces? 40? I think we have between 35 and 40 pieces for you guys but, this evening. Okay. Now um, I'm confused. You know why I'm confused? Because in our last live, you said that there were 35 pieces. Now they're 35 to 40 pieces. That's a little on the heavy side. Yeah, I thought we had a discussion so, about this. Yeah, okay, but we're live now, so this is so we're going to we're gonna get ready to get started now, Josie. So, and thir 35 pieces it is, right? 30, 35 pieces, yes. Wonderful. Yeah, it's 35 pieces. Okay. okay. So we're now that Josie on. has done scolding me. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So for those of you, if this is your first time at a live sale, this is how this is going to work. Um, basically, I'm going to show you an item. And then after that, I'm going to show you a card. And on that card, we'll have a price right here. And then I will remove this top part and reveal a number. Then you give me that number, and the first person to give me the number on the card will win the item. Either now, you uh, either when you win the item or at the end of the show, you will email us at this email that is scrolling across the bottom of the screen, uh, your PayPal information and mailing address, and then we will put together an invoice for you, send that invoice to you, and then once your invoice is paid, we will ship your item and then email you a tracking number. Um, basically, the uh, what was I going to say? We ship from Maryland. Uh, we do our best to combine, you know, make sure that the shipping cost is as low as possible without, uh, you know, sacrificing the safety of your items. Also, if you need a little bit of insurance, there should be a link. In the description below to our packing videos so you can kind of get an idea of how we pack um so that's pretty much the everything you need to know and i'm going to say hello to a couple of people and give everyone a second to funnel into the room for the sale and then we will get started so first here was april she said she was uh she missed the earlier live. Don't worry, April. You can always go back and watch it. We appreciate your love and support. Sharon, uh, Sharon, I don't know if you got my email or not. We are not doing a raffle this week, this show. Uh, we will be bringing back the, we're going to call it a Raz. We're going to be bringing back the Raz item next week. So we'll have give everybody a chance during the week um, and then during the live also to enter that Raz for a chance to win a really nice item. Uh, we try our best to make those items like around between 50 and a hundred dollars in value to kind of give everybody incentive in uh, joining that. So I'll keep your $5 in credit for the next week's prize. Tracy will be listening in the background. She says, go get them tiger. Thank you. Casey Addicts is here as well. Uh, Suzanne McLean. Thank you for joining us. Uh, who else is here? I know I saw Lori C, the Blue Flamingo. Thank you for joining us as well. Maria, the California Thrifter. Hope all is well with you. We also have Reclaimed Treasures by Mary joining us again. Uh, Sandy Otto, thank you very much for coming by. Michelle, Comfy Cozy Living. I was in the wrong stream with no chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mary from the Block Vintage, one of my favorites. 
out there. Thank you for stopping by. Randy is here. Now I have the chat with no stream. Hopefully uh, things are, are getting there for you. There we go as I, as I get down there. Joining us again, uh, thank you very much. And she supplied us with a very interesting item earlier in our earlier live. Uh, hopefully we, we've pointed you in the right direction and we can figure out what that uh, serving dish is you have. Sernok, thank you for coming by and supporting as always. Uh, Superior Girl Vintage, thank you for coming by. Peggy Dingle, Andy Garza, pattern of the green bottom half looks like olive pattern. There you go. Nice. I will pass that along. All right. Who else is here? Pam's Electric pa Place. Hello, hello. And Cindy is here. Thank you for coming back again. Tracy says, Josie is totally questioning her choices in life. <laughs> Oh. Just like clarity. <laughs> and uh, my buddy Kevin, uh, Kevin, I got uh, your package today. Thank you very much for the little extra uh, bonus cards. I really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, it means a lot. Thank you. Kiss my stained glass. Hello, hello. And yeah, that's, we got a couple of other people. Christina, postcards and patina. I love that name. That's a great. That's a great name right there. Oh my vintage. Hi Tim. I just got my package from you. I love it. That's that's what I like to hear. Thank you. I hope everybody is has uh those of you who got your packages sent out early have received them and are enjoying them. The niche lady, first time here to see what I can be tempted to buy. All right. And one of our favorites, Michelle, is here also. Josie is living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then one of our other favorites also, as always, Lisa and Rob, couple of pickers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Aaron from Rebel Junk. Michelle, yes, I got you. I got your package too. I just haven't opened it yet. I've been trying to like uh, – I wanted to open it in a video so that my reaction would be natural. So – I'm going to be filming another video here, I think, tomorrow. So I think I'm going to open that for the opening scene of that video. So, all right. We got 57 people in the building. I think it's time to start this live sale. Uh, Maria got her package today. All was packed very well. I am glad to hear. Glad to hear. All right. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. We have put together, hopefully... Oh, Josie, you're echoing. Can you, is there still an echo? Yeah, you're all loud. I'm going to mute you for a little while. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So you guys saw it as I was doing the little, uh, you know, how this works. So this is going to be our first item of the day. Uh, this, I don't know how much you can actually see it in here. But this has actually got a nice little crackle glass to it. This is a deep ruby red crackle glass with the nice textured handle right here. And this is, I believe, made by Pilgrim Glass. You can see the bottom right there. You can kind of see the crackle coming up from the bottom right there. But this is one of those pieces that you put in your window and it, the light just comes through. It's absolutely gorgeous. And... Uh, as always, I will give you guys measurements. So this picture at its tallest point is about three and a quarter inches tall. Uh, so this is going to be our first item. This deep ruby red crackle glass mini pitcher can be yours for a price of $7. With number 27. Once that heat hits it, it's going to the 10-minute start. All right, number 27. Suzanne McLean, you are the winner. All right. Okay. All right, next item, my uh, dukes. How about? Mm. 
this bad boy. No. Give me the oh. Uh, the ashtrays. And then I'm going to need you to go in the other room and get the black light for me, too. Am I still muted? All right. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So next up, uh, everybody, I know everybody, most people love some Fire King. Now, Peach Luster Fire King uh, is one of the more... You know, not necessarily the hardest to find, but I thought these were really cool because you don't necessarily see these ashtrays a lot. Um, and especially in this, you know, it's pretty good condition. So here we have Fire King, Anchor Hawking, Fire King, Peach Luster Ashtray. Uh, not just one, not just two, but wait, there's more. Three. So we have, and the luster on these are in really good condition. So we have three Anchor Hawking Fire King Peach Lusterware ashtrays. Now you don't, even if you don't smoke, these are like still really cool. You know, could be used as a change dish, trinket dish, maybe put your earrings in, um, you know, chopstick holder. You can kind of get creative with these. It definitely is. To me, Peach Luster is one of those colors. Um, and patterns and designs that can be used in all four seasons of the year, which I think is, is, you know, really important when you're using vintage items as, as decor pieces. So all three fire King anchor Hawking fire King peach luster ashtrays can be yours for a price of $7 with number 25. Number 25, Sharon, you are the winner. Sharon Bouchard. Mm -hmm. Yes, very much like a creamsicle, Krillin. <laughs> Coasters, that's a good one too. I didn't think about that. It's kind of tiny. But it's like a Tom Collins glass? Could totally fit in that. No, two and a half. <laughs> Tom Collins glass, two yeah. Two and three quarters inches. Maybe. All right. Let's get this. All right. Now, we love cast iron here. Uh, Ma Dukes is a huge cast iron fan. Um, she really likes the, the mini cast iron trivets and stuff like that. Um, I am a big fan of cast iron trivets as well. Shout out to my old chef. He just got a new gig in Hawaii running a really nice restaurant. Uh, but he used to always ask me to look for trivets for him. Um, mm. And, you know, typically you really want to be careful, not necessarily careful, but if you're looking for the older trivets, you want to make sure that, you know, they're not made in Taiwan. Those are, you know, newer reproduction tri trivets. Um, this trivet is actually made by Virginia Metalcraft, um, and it is marked, and it has the 1953 on there. This is the King's Arms trivet, and you can see it right there. And this is in absolutely fabulous condition, as you can see. This is a really nice trivet. Uh, it's got some good weight to it as well. And it measures at about five and a half to six inches. Five and a half by six inches is the size of this trivet. Uh, really nice and in great condition. As you can see, no real rusting at all. Um, so this trivet, and I seen this trivet go for, you know, upward, this actual one go from like, 20 to 30 dollars online and it has previously sold for but i'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get this trivet right here and all the legs are nice and intact so the king of arms king's arms trivet for a price of 15 dollars with number 14 i am in maryland humpty dumpty All right, Bill Tackett, you are the winner. Let's 
Shout out, Bill. Thank you for coming by, buddy. We are wishing you the best of speedy recovery. Um, let's do the Hazel Atlas. No, Hazel Atlas. The plate. All right. So this is one of those things, again, that has like, if you watch our channel, you'll know that one of our biggest things is we are big on crossover appeal. Uh, so items, either even if you're either a reseller or a collector, um, it, crossover appeal it plays a big role in this world of vintage and antique items, in my opinion. So this plate to me has a lot of crossover appeal. Um, this is a Hazel Atlas. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that collect Hazel Atlas. Um, it is also milk glass. You know, a lot of milk glass collectors out there. Uh, and this is the Robin Hood plate. It is part of the children's series. So they also made a cup and a bowl. So you have all the characters lined up there. You have Lil John, Friar Tuck, Robin Hood. Um, there is a little bit of wear in some of the places on the green print. Um, just a tad trying to make that focus in for you guys. But all in all, in fabulous condition, super clean. Really nice. Um, the comps on this thing go kind of all over the place, but it measures at this ruler is crazy, by the way. It's about seven inches wide in diameter. Hazel Atlas milk glass Robin Hood plate can be yours for a price of six dollars with number 20. Numero 20. 20. No takers? All right. All right. Not give me the panel. Oh, no. Sure. Guess who got it? Guess who wants it? Sir Knock. Sir Knock's connection. <laughs> he wants Thank it. Thank you, Sir Knock. <laughs> All right. What were you saying about Hazel No, don't, what are you doing? It's Hazel Atlas. No, I didn't say that right there. Um, I don't know why you moved from your original spot. <laughs> All right. So I know I saw some of you guys comment about the blue glass in our latest auction hall video. So I tried to implement some opalescent blue glass in this sale. Because I know there's a lot of interest in that. It is one of our favorite things to find opalescent blue glass. Also, we're huge Fenton fans. So we kind of got a, a nice little um, you know, combination of the two right here. So this is actually really one of my favorite uh, pieces. So this is Fenton glass blue opalescent. Uh, the pattern on this piece is panel daisy. And this is interesting, too, because it has the Fenton sticker on the inside. And it also has the Fenton marking on the bottom. So this is a toothpick holder. And you can see the real, real nice opalescent creaminess on top. Um, and when you have this in the light, you can see the ring of fire up here as well. Um, and this is in fabulous condition. No chips, no cracks, no dings. I know... It's funny because Ma Dukes used to always tell me never to use your fingertips when looking for the stuff. To use your palm or your, your hand because it's more sensitive than your fingertips. Uh, just a little tip for everybody. So, yep, this toothpick holder, Fenton Blue Opalescent. And it measures to about three and a half inches tall. So this, beautiful. Fenton Blue Opalescent Panel Daisy Toothpick Holder can be yours for a price of $11 with number 34. Number 34. All right, KCATX, it is yours. You are the winner. Winner, winner, Opalescent Blue Dinner. All right. Yeah, what next? Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. Let's do uh 
candlesticks people for Let me do the peanut, the peanuts. This is a really interesting piece. So I when I first when I first got this item, I was kind of just like, I don't really know. Patrick, thank you for joining in, brother. Shout out to the trusty Hucks from Mercantile. When I first got this piece, I didn't really know exactly what it was for because it was labeled peanuts, but it looks like it's a jar. So this is a peanut shaker. Uh, so I guess you would fill this up with peanuts. And then if you wanted some peanuts, you'd put it in your hand like that. But <laughs> the good thing about this piece is it can be used as a bud vase, a flower vase. So, and it's blue and white. And you guys know we're big on blue and white decor. So this is actually uh, made in Norway by Porsgrun. See if that will focus in for you guys. There you go. You can see there. the marking right there. Uh, and this is peanuts on both sides. And it is in that nice sort of flow blue-esque sort of uh, look on the blue and white. And this measures at about five and three-fourths inches tall. Shake the husk of the peanuts. There you go. Ah. See? Yes, sir. Or it could hold peanut sauce. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You can do it's all about what you want to do with it. I'm just laying it out for you for your imagination. So you can have this item peanut shaker or peanut vase, peanut de husker, you know, uh, peanut oil, peanut sauce. I mean, MMs, you can do a lot of things with this. For a price of only nine dollars, with the number four. All right, Sharon Bochart, you are the winner. Winner, winner, peanut dinner. Sharon has must have fast Wi-Fi. I see we got a lot of fours, a lot of love on that dish, on that uh, piece right there. On that piece, yeah. Yes. All right, let's go. No, oh, gravy boat. All right. So, you know, we try to mix up the things here and give everybody a kind of, you know, a little piece of what we love. So don't forget that if there is anything that you guys are into or that you guys really like and you want to see in the sales, all you have to do is, you know, comment on this video, comment on our Instagram post, um, any of these places. Just let us know what you're looking for and we will get those for you. Yep. All right. So if you watch us, you know we love Hall China. Um, we are big Hall China fans. Uh, we love the combination of mid-century modern and art deco vibes that go into those items. Um, this is a really, like, this gray just gives me that mid-century vibe. It just has, th that this gray was is a huge mid-century modern color. But it is this gravy boat has a lovely, just awesome shape here to this gravy boat, and it is in fabulous condition. It's a really nice gray, um, and you can see it is marked Hall on the bottom there. Uh, this gravy boat from spout to handle measures at about eight eight and a quarter inches, and at its tallest point is four and a half inches. So once again, you have this mid-century modern Hall China, nice gray gravy boat. And this gravy boat can be yours for a price of $11 if you give me number 17. No takers. <laughs> All right. Next. Next up. Uh, 
Let's do the the Southern Bell. The yeah. All right, this is a really interesting piece. Right oh, here. Sandra, Sandra Smith wants the gravy boat. Sandra, you are the winner. Winner, winner, gravy boat dinner. Sandra Smith. All right, so this piece right here is super interesting. Um, I love these sort of slag glass looks. Um, this is what we have here. Like this is like a lava orange going on. Um, it's hollow on the inside. You can see the nice slag right there. No. And this also <laughs> is manganese glass. So under the black light. Uh man, I lost I, I lost my really my nice black light and my dukes. It. It's in the house. <laughs> and my dukes gave me this bootleg one. Why didn't you give me the other one? I, I didn't see it. All right. You it. see? Uh, uh it went out again. There's like three of them over there. All right, there we go. You see under the black light, this will glow a really awesome orange all the way around. It is super rad. So this is actually made by Boyd. Um, I believe it is a Boyd uh, Colonial Lady or Southern Belle, they're sometimes called. And you can see it's really nice and detailed up there in the front. There we go. Uh, this piece measures to about a little less than four and a half inches tall. So for this one, for eleven dollars, you could have this Southern Bell at your house with number thirty-one. All right, Michelle at Mermaid Cove Plants and Treasure, you are the winner. All right. The teapot? Yeah. All right, we'll do the teapot. It's tea time, baby. All right. So, this is a really so. If you don't know, I know I say this a lot, but if you watch our videos, you know we love to sell teapots. We have probably sold well over a hundred plus teapots. Um, I think I'm actually down to almost below sixty total teapots left in my Etsy store. Um, but this teapot is not even listed. So a lot of you people are going to get first dibs on this teapot. Um, we love our English teapots, Sadler, Gibson, um, things like that. Um, this one has a little bit of everything. So this is a mother of pearl lusterware teapot. And I don't even think it's really doing the justice to seeing it. So you have it's gold here, gold on the bottom, gold on the handle. The rest is a mother of pearl luster wear. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. Let me if I see if I turn off this light. There you go. Nice mother of pearl luster wear. Um, it does have a crazy appropriate with age. Try to get you guys to see that a little bit. Um, besides that, it has no chips or dings, a little bit of wear on the gold, but not in a really peculiar place there. And as you can see, these are both good. And it is marked on the bottom, Elgrieve, England. Elgrieve embossed on top, England embossed on the bottom. And it does have the gold shape number right here. And so from spout to handle, it's going to measure eight and three fourths inches. And height without the lid is about five inches tall. Uh, and it has a nice oval lid too, so it kind of sits in there. Uh, I just think it's just one of those pieces. I, I love the pieces that have that look when the light hits. Um, and, and the crazing actually kind of adds a little bit of appeal to it because that 
luster wear, the pearl luster wear, mother pearl with the crazy and kind of just adds a little bit of texture look to it. Um, and it does have an embossed like chain almost going around it right here. Uh, so this teapot can be yours for a price of only $14 with number seven. Number seven, fourteen dollars gets you a teapot. No take. All right. This is a super interesting piece here. Uh, this is actually made by Fostoria. Um, it is part of the Jenny Lind series. Um, and this is technically, I guess, considered a vanity tray. Um, I, I can't use that for a vanity tray. Thanks. My Duke says you can't use that as a vanity tray. I, I'm well aware of that, but I'm just letting them know that technically <laughs> it's considered a vanity tray. So if you guys are new to our live sale, don't worry. There's plenty of background comments coming from Ma Dukes and Jesse. Ma Dukes from the peanut gallery. I should have said that peanut base for her. But this is technically considered to be a vanity tray, although I think it would be awesome um, as a wall plaque. So this is made by Fostoria. It is a milk glass, but the interesting part about this milk glass is that it does have a bluish green gray kind of tint to it. Um, and it is super detailed, as you can see. Let me turn that light back on for you guys. So there you go. You can see the detail in that dish. Um, it is really gorgeous. There's the back for you. And the front one more time. And it is just has these really intricate cuts in there, too. Um, and this is made by Fostoria, Jenny Lind. Um, and it measures... With about 11 and a quarter by seven and a half inches. So this is a really nice plate or vanity tray or wall plate. How, whatever you really want to do with it. I think that this is an amazing piece. And I think uh, I'm giving it away at a really steal of a price. So for $11, you can have the Fostoria Glass Jenny Lind. Vanity tray with the number five. Five, five, five. I got five on it. Josie, you're muted. Sharon, you are the winner. Sharon Bochard, you are the winner. Let's see. All right, let's let's do the the Fire King refrigerator dish. All right, so this is another piece that has not been listed yet. Um, this is I. This is my first time actually seeing one of these out in the wild. I see the Fire King um, fruit stuff all the time in the the casserole dishes. But this is actually a refrigerator dish, um, Fire King, Anchor Hawking. As you can see, it has the marking down there. Um, and this is in the fruits pattern. So you got peaches and grapes. Pe man, peaches, pe peach and grape jelly right now? That sounds pretty good. A little combination of those two, peaches and grapes. I like it. So this is a nice uh, refrigerator dish. And it does have the lid. Uh, with the Fire King marking on top. The only issue is that there is a chip on the lid, as you can see right there. But definitely still a nice display piece. Um, everything is nicely intact. The refrigerator dish is two and a quarter inches tall, and it is four by four inches itself. So four this nine dollars you can have the anchor hawking fire king fruit refrigerator dish with the number 15.
All right, Suzanne McLean, you are the winner. My chat on StreamYard is doing horrible right now. Thank goodness for Jesse. I'm about 57 comments behind right now. All right. So, yeah. Back to the ashtrays. Yeah. All right. So this is I, there are a lot of pieces in this uh, sale tonight that have not uh, been listed that literally are brand new. I got them. I sat them on this table and I reserved them for tonight's live sale. Um, I'd say there's probably about 15 of these pieces. You guys are going to be the first people to see these pieces. So uh, they said they like how you say you are the winner, Jesse. <laughs> So we are huge Limoges fans in this house, in this business, and um, all different types. Because everybody knows that Limoges is a very wide spectrum of things um, from antique to vintage. Um, there's different houses and there's remakes and there's, you know, repops, all of those things above. Uh, so this one to me, I Cobalt Blue always a big fan cobalt blue and gold i mean that just screams like nice that screams elegant to me uh and then i especially love it when it has these detailed victorian style pictures on the inside come on baby focus where's my focus there it goes look at that absolutely gorgeous and the blue and the gold is in immaculate condition. There is no fading to the paint at all. And there is your back stamp right here. Focus. There it goes. All right. So this is a four slot ashtray. And it is in fabulous condition. Once again, you can use this for multiple different things. It doesn't just have to be for cigarette butts. Um, and this ashtray measures at five by five. Um, and it does have a nice little sort of uh, scallop sort of Coca-Cola bottle shape going on right there. Um, and this ashtray can be yours for a price of $7.00. With the number 11. Seven, 11. The number is 11. <laughs> oh, yes. The price is 7. The number is 11. All right, Sharon. You are, yet again, the winner. Sharon Bochard. How about the, what do you think? The, the candlesticks? And nah, the I'm going to wait on those. All right, we're going to pull out one of the big guns. All right. You, look, I kind of picked this thing up like a bowling ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Careful. Okay, so you guys know we love uranium glass. We love jadeite. Um, so we try to include at least some uranium glass or some jadeite uh, in all of our live sales uh, because right now – it's hot. I mean, jadeite and uranium, uranium glass on itself is blowing up. Uh, and I have been a firm believer in stockpiling uranium glass for the last two to three years. Um, and it is something that I move a lot of. I sell lots and lots of uranium glass. Um, and so jadeite, as most of you know, is super, super uh, popular. Um, so this is Oh, Glenn just notified us that Deb is off of the ventilator. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Deb, a uh, huge person in the reselling community, had come down with COVID and was on a ventilator. So we are glad to hear that she is off the ventilator. That is absolutely fabulous news. Thank you, Glenn, for letting us know. Um, so here we have... Most of you guys know this uh, will mix uh, attaches to your mix mas mix master. <laughs> That's a tough one to say. Your mix, mix master, master here, 
Um, it does have the, this is definitely an older one. It definitely has the patent number right there. Um, and there is no chips, no flea bites, no nothing. Um, and so we love the jadeite that glows. And this is also uranium glass jadeite. And this, you know, this piece can go upwards of like $30 to $35 a lot of times. My Duke's over here trying to beat me up with the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> These flashlights will not be our over the years flashlights. <laughs> and so you can have this. This is, you know, if you want to try and put together your old vintage mix master, that'll work. Um, you can, you can, you know, display this your own way. I've seen a lot of really innovative and creative artistic ways of displaying these pieces. Um, I just think it's a really dope piece of history. Um, and we're going to go ahead and sell this one off for a price of $19. You can have your jadeite uranium glass mix master piece for $19 with the number two, 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 two. <laughs> Somebody says they thought it was a, a piece of a ur urinal. The thrill of the thrift. You are the winner. Bedpan. <laughs> I'd be a stylish bedpan, dog. I'll give you that. All right. Next up, let's do the milk bottle. All right, so this is a really interesting milk bottle. Now, I've seen some really wild comps on this bottle. I saw this same exact bottle sell within the last was it was it 2018? It was within the last two years. This bottle sold for eighty five dollars. I don't understand how. I don't understand why. But uh, typically, most of them sell in the $20 range, uh, especially the colored ones. Uh, this is really nice because it has the ceramic porcelain top. So you can see it is a really nice top on this milk bottle um, and a nice blob style sort of head. And it's still everything is still operating and intact. As long as I don't break it. <laughs> uh, and then on the front, it is inscribed Grandma Wheaton's, which is actually the, the city uh, uh, I am from. Uh, Grandma Wheaton's Whole Milk. And it is South Jersey's Best. Uh, so this is a really cool milk bottle with a porcelain ceramic top. Um, this measures to about nine and a half, a little bit taller than nine and a half inches tall. This is a really cool milk bottle right here. Um, I just, you know, I'm a big fan of this sort of like farmhouse appeal look. Um, and the comps are crazy, like I said. But we're going to go ahead and this to you guys. Have your milk bottle best. Nine dollars with the number. Do, 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 do. 24. 24 gets your grandma Wheaton's best milk in South Jersey. All right. And it's a flip it. You are the winner. Susie. Congratulations, Susie. Susie was like, my internet, there's no way I can do this. But she did it. Congratulations, did it. Susie. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do this. All right. So this is a new addition, too. We're going to start throwing in some more jewelry, men's and women's, because I have a crazy vintage tie clip and cufflink collection. But we're going to start out with some brooches. Now, these are some yes. pins, brooches. They're not brooches. They're, not brooches. they're pins. My bad. <laughs> 
Ma Dukes. So I told you, Ma Dukes in the peanut gallery. She's coming for you. Okay, so this is like cat themed. Now I like these ones because some of them got got a little bit of movement. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys these. So this is like a uh uh, it's a it's a cat, right? But the cat. Oh, uh, look at the eyes too. They kind of look like my eyes. Focus. Show them how the head I'm I will show them how the head bobs, mom, but I'm trying to get it to focus. It won't focus. focus. Are you just saying focus? So the head bobble, which is pretty cool. It's like a little luster. It and it's got a little bit of mother of pearl luster wear to it, too. So that's a, that's the first one. There's going to be three, three kitty related pins, not brooches, in this lot. And they're they kind of like the, the shape of those mid-century modern uh cats too. Folk, there you go. Look at that one right there. And this one has like the the, the tail that moves. This is a really cool <laughs> one too. What are you laughing at? The fact that the tail moves like that. Yeah, it's pretty rad. That's a really cool one too. And these are definitely old school for sure. Now I, I don't see any markings. I haven't them. seen any markings on them, but I don't have my loop with me right now. So you got those two, and then the third one is like the jewel cat, rhinestone cat. I like that one. Yeah. Pink and green. Pink and green. Nice little rhinestones as the head and the belly. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna get one, not one, not two. But three kitties pins. All three of these kitty pins can be yours for a price of ten dollars with the number eight. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. We out. All right, the thrill of the thrift. You are the winner again. Look, even Tr Tracy, Tracy heard jewelry and came out to to out the out the out of the woodwork for that one. That's good. All right, let's go. Let's go with the hun. Okay, this is a big one. All right, so this is a big sucker. Now. Everybody knows, if you don't know, there is a massive amount of people out there that are well, what they call, they refer to these as huns, H-O-N, hen on nest. And there are people that are crazy, crazy collectors of this stuff. I mean, they come in all different sizes, all different shapes, all different colors, all different, you know, glass houses made them. Um, I believe this one is made by Westmoreland, although it's kind of tricky because I could not find the WG on here. Yeah. But as we all know, milk glass, sometimes those markings, they hide them. And it, it drives me insane because sometimes they put them on the lip, on the bottom, on the top. Um, now, this the reason why I believe this is Westmoreland is because of the intricacy of the weave on the bottom of the dish um this sort of cross lattice weave right here is typically goes with westmoreland and then down here you have the bottom bottom a lot of detail a lot of detail on this hun and then what i really like is is it's got the red mohawk going on and the red eyes It's a really nice one. And then you can always tell that nice milk glass too when you hold it into the light and you see that ring of fire. So you've seen the top, you've seen the bottom. Here she is as a whole. This is a really nice, intricate, large milk glass hen on nest hun. Um, and tail, we'll, we'll measure the base for you. The base dish measurement is... It's about seven and a half, a little bit less than that. It's in between seven and a quarter, seven and a half by five and three fourths inches. And the height at its tallest point is 
six inches tall. So here we have a Westmoreland milk glass hen on nest with the red head. I mean, that's a really nice hairdo. This, this, it's not clear at all. <laughs> yeah, it's the head, the hairdo has got a nice, nice color job at the, at the hair salon. This one got so this dish, hun, hen on nest, Westmoreland milk glass can be yours for a price of only $13 with the number 18. It does kind of look like Elvis. The winner is Blue Flamingo. Lori. I, I, I feel bad if I say winner, winner, chicken dinner with this yeah. one. <laughs> Next. Next. All right. Let's bring out the big boy. One of the, one. One of the big boys. So I know everybody had a lot of fun last week with the uh, check vase. So I got you guys another one. This is another one that has not been listed. Art Deco check glass hand-painted flower vase. And this is a gorgeous one. Is that a purple or black? What's that? The color of the... It's, it's, it's a like silver. It's a silver overlay hand-painted. And... You can see it is. Let me try and get up there for you guys. So, yeah, this is like a silver overlay. Now, it is only one side of the vase. Try to get out the window for you. Get you to 360. And it does have it on the base as well as the top. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vase. And like I said, this has never been listed. This is out my personal collection for you guys. And this vase is going to measure 10 inches tall. And you can get this beauty for $19 with number 22. All right, the winner again is Blue Flamingo. We're more than halfway through. Okay. All the carnival glass. We're going to stick with some nice flashy glass for you. I hope you picked up some nice items at that thrift store, uh, Mary. Yeah, $19 is definitely a steal, Nate. But, you know, I got to throw in a couple of those for you guys, you know. Treat you guys really, really well because you guys come out and support. So I try to throw out some deals for everybody so you guys can get a chance to grab some really nice things. Okay. So next up, we're going to have this Imperial Glass. Now, this is a wide panel is the name of the pattern. Um, this is like a combination between a carnival glass and stretch glass. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a really nice piece. Now it's got a little bit of wear on it as far as, you know, some of the, the inside places have a little bit of scratches. But, I mean, overall, I mean, just the way the shape of the piece alone is gorgeous. And then, you know, you can see the panels on there. And it's not, it's not on the outside. The, the panel is actually on the inside. But the way that the glass is, it kind of comes through. So it is really, really nice. And they call this color tangerine. So this measures eight inches wide and two and a quarter inches tall. So you can have this lovely imperial tangerine stretch carnival glass bowl can be yours for, this is going to be a crazy price, $9. With the number 21. Blue Flamingo, you are the winner. Winner, winner, carnival dinner. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and bring out the ones that everybody was asking about today. 
on and you guys make sure you guys are following us on instagram over the years collecting and over the years ebay uh we do put out a preview video every monday for these items so a bunch of people had asked me they, they said lori winning the lottery congratulations so a lot of people were asking me about these so i'm gonna go ahead and bring them out now these are ceramic um very mid-century modern vibe these are like a mint green color they are matching candlesticks there's no markings on these and this one has a really tiny flake up here on the top flea bite uh, there you go you can see it now uh but these are like mid-century modern to the core screaming uh just that really gorgeous uh mint green and there's one little flake of the paint right there also so you can get these pair of mid-century modern mint green ceramic candlesticks and they measure do 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 six and a half inches tall for eleven dollars with the number 13. Suzanne McLean, you are the winner. All right. Now, let's do this. All right. So once again, if you watch our channel, if you don't, you should subscribe and watch our channel. But we love Wedgwood Jasperware. All the different colors, the different shapes, the different patterns, the different motives. We, we love all of it. Uh, if you haven't seen, go back and watch our live stream on Wedgwood. Uh, we did. How long was that live, Josie and Ma Dukes? It was like an hour and a half, right? Yeah. We did like an hour and a half live stream just on Wedgwood Jasperware. So I definitely think you guys should uh, be checking out Wedgwood Jasperware. It is actually one of our best-selling uh, pieces within the last three months. We have sold... Whew, maybe like 30 pieces of Wedgwood Jasperware. So we're averaging about 10 pieces a month. So it's doing really well for us. Um, so what we have here, this is actually considered to be a silver box. So this is what you would keep your silver in, your jewelry pieces, things of that nature. Um, and the name of the motif, motif is blind man, blinds man, blind man's bluff is what that one is. Um, and this is a pale blue Jasperware. And you can see it goes all the way around with the pattern. And there are no chips, no dings, no cracks. Um, it is marked down there at the bottom, Wedgwood made in England. Uh, and this measures four and a quarter, by three and a quarter and with the lid on it is about two inches at its tallest point so this wedgewood pale blue jasper wear silver box trinket dish jewelry box can be yours for a price of only eleven dollars with number 23 Sharon Bochart, you are the winner. Thanks for stopping by, little vintage me, 64. Have a lovely evening. All right. Pins. We're going to do a couple more pins, not brooches, pins. Uh, these are really pretty. Uh, they both have like the uh, pink sort of rhinestones in them. Uh, this one is a butterfly and you can see that really pretty and i'll show you the clasp on the back so this is the first one that is in the lot of two 
And this is the second one. And it this one has it's like a cuckoo clock with the bird, and the bird goes back and forth, as you can see. And there is the clasp right there. And you can have this lot for a total of seven dollars with the number nine. All right, Kathy, Kathy Snavely, you are the winner. All right, next up, we got a nice little tin. We love tins here. We love advertising. We love Art Deco. This is an Art Deco advertising tin. Um, it is a St. Regis chocolates tin. And you can see it's got a little bit of wear, but what good tin doesn't? Um, and it is the nice heavy lid. heavy lid right there. And there it is open. And it's got that really nice black and gold look going on right there. Um, a lot of detail on that tin, as you can see. And it is packaged Corporation of New York marking on the bottom. There you go. So this uh, measures at... It's about... Two and three fourths inches tall, and then seven and three fourths by uh, four and three fourths inches. So you can have this awesome Art Deco black and gold St. Regis chocolates tin for the price of eleven dollars with number three. Yes, that is Ace. I give Ace a little screen time. Say hi, Ace. Hey, bud. Say hey, hi, bud. Hey, bud. Okay. <laughs> He's looking for you. He looked out the window. <laughs> oh, oh, Laura. Laura came through with number three. Oh, wow. Thank you, Laura. All right. So we had a teapot earlier. You guys didn't want the teapot, but we got a teacup for you. This is a gorgeous teacup. Um, we are big on teacups here, teacups and teapots. So here we go. This is they got the gold. Oh, look at that sucker. That is a beautiful rose and gold, and the gold is in immaculate condition. There is no fading on the gold whatsoever. Um, even on the rim around the teacup. Uh, this teacup is made by Royal Grafton, fine bone china. There you go right there, made in England. Uh, and it's got a nice sort of scallop edge on the cup, scalloped edge on the saucer. Um, and you could have this teacup for your tea party for a price of only $11, if you give me number one. All right, oh my vintage, you are the winner. Uh, all right. Milk glass mugs, let me tell you. Always buy milk glass mugs. You'll never those some of those milk glass mugs, especially the advert, excuse me, the advertising ones. You'll pick it up and you'll have no idea. You'll get home, you'll look it up, it'll be a hundred dollar mug. So I, I always buy milk glass mugs, and they don't always have to be marked Federal Glass, Fire King, Anchor Hawking, any, and it doesn't always have to be like that. I typically buy any milk glass mug that I see. Um, so this one right here is a really interesting one. 
Uh, it's a Holly Hobby milk glass mug. And it is Daisy. And this is the orange one. Now, this mug came in like three or four different colors. I believe orange, blue, green, and red, I think. Um, and it says, good things are better when shared with friends. Amen to that. So this is a really cute milk glass mug, and it is in great condition. As you can see, I'm trying to turn it and focus at the same time. And this mug is pinched over three inches tall. Now, you can have this. I've seen this mug sell for about $20. You can have this mug for a price of $9 with the number 28. All the Holly Hobby freaks out there. All right, Suzanne McLean, you are the winner. All right, we're getting down to the end here, folks. Not really. All right. So here we have some nice marigold ribbed optic, sort of carnival glass looking water glass tumblers and they are ribbed on the inside very similar to the imperial glass bowl that just sold not too long ago um and these water glasses are five inches tall and you can have all three of these i feel like i should have these on the table with like a, a ball underneath and you guys got to figure out which is under you can have all three of these glasses for nine dollars with the number 16. All right, Suzanne McLean, you are the winner. All right. Ooh, let's do this guy. This is another really interesting piece right here. So this I would imagine is a hot water pot. It has a nice lid to it. And you can see the pattern is a really nice floral and plaid pattern. And there is no chips. There is crazing appropriate with age. So this is actually made, uh, it is um, Macquarie ware. And I'll show you guys the stamp right there. There you go. Made in Japan. Um, and this pot will measure to uh, was that the highest point. It's basically five inches tall without the lid. Um, and it is just really cute. And it, it actually does have like a little bit of um, – Silver trim on there and uh, silver trim on the lid as well. And you can have this hot water pot for only $11 if you give me number six. Uh, the bell. Yes. All right. More Fenton, more Fenton, and more Fenton. So this is a Fenton milk glass handbell, and this is in the daisy and button pattern. Um, the Fenton marking is on the inside. As you look inside there, you will notice there is no bell. That is the only issue, but this is a really clean, nice condition, classic Fenton milk glass, daisy and button pattern handbell. Great for display. I mean, you don't really need the bell. You can just sit it on, on the mantle like that. The clanker? The clanker? I don't know. But 
This Fenton Milk Glass Daisy and Button handbell without the bell can be yours for a price of seven dollars with the number ten. All right, Christina, postcards and patina. You it are the winner. <laughs> it rhymes. All right. All right. Now, this one is not necessarily like super, super old vintage. Uh, um, it's older than you are. It's, Ma Duke says it's older than I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I just always thought it was so – I love these, like, really rad uh, creamers that are animals. So this is the cow creamer. So you see the, the milk comes out right there on the cow. It's put so the milk cute. In. It is I cute. I want right? it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the flowers on the side. And uh, this is Gordon Bleu. Cordon Bleu. Gordon Bleu. Cordon Bleu. <laughs> and it is made in France. So cute. And this little French cow creamer can be yours. Can be mine. <laughs> <laughs> For a price of only $5. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> With number 12. All right, Blue Flamingo, you are the winner. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces left, guys. You're going to come in at 930. Nine pieces left. All right. So this is going to be the last piece. Tim's laugh should be part of the intros. Epic laugh. Thank you, Anthony, the blue glass, blue grass picker. So this is going to be our last piece of jewelry for the evening. Um... I'm trying not to butcher the name of this right now. Jacobite. Jacobite. This is Scottish jewelry. Um, this, I believe, is actually made to pin your kilt. You and it, it. Why are you giving it away? It is absolutely amazing. And it still has the paper that it came on, as you can see. This is a really intricate kilt pin right here. My Dukes, you're looking at it. What are you trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out what the stones were. I mean, that might be... Uh, it's not Malachite. It, it's just a green agate. It's yeah. all agate. I think they're all agate pieces. But super detailed. Really awesome piece. And... It can be yours for... My Dukes wants to say it. You want to say it? And it can be yours for... <laughs> Of $15, only $15 for this super vintage Scottish kilt Jacobite jewelry with the number 32. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. All right, Laura, you are the winner. Winner, winner, Jacobite dinner. Okay. All right. Last. All right. We're gonna finish off the Wedgwood. We got it. We got another bargain Wedgwood deal for you. So, Jasper, pale blue Jasper Ware Wedgwood spade shaped dish, and the Greek uh motif on there is Coriolanus. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right, but Coriolanus. This is in fabulous condition. Um, and like I said, Wedgwood Jasper Ware right now is one of the hottest things on the market. It is super, super interesting how this stuff has just started flying off the shelves again. So it can be yours for only $5 for this Jasper Ware piece. With number 26. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. All right. 
Blue Flamingo, you are the winner. Winner, winner, Jasper, we're dinner. All right, the bear. Here we go. We got more blue opalescent. I so I saw y'all like the blue opalescent, so I brought out some blue opalescent for y'all. And I like the toothpick holders. If you guys haven't noticed that yet, so here we have a blue opalescent hobnail Fenton toothpick holder. Really, really fabulous shape, condition, and just overall look. Uh, this measures almost two and three fourths inches tall. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys because we're moving. Seven dollars for this piece, only seven dollars. Yes, the upside down top hat is correct. For those of you that didn't know, I thought I did. I not say that. I didn't say that. Josie and my dudes got me going through like speed round right now. So absolutely, I'm trying my best here. And it can be yours for the price of $7 with the number 33. Or as mom likes to say, Jose Canseco. <laughs> that used to be my Powerball. Bluegrass picker. You are Anthony, the winner. Anthony coming through in the clutch with the 33. Okay. Now, don't forget, everybody scrolling underneath of my beard is the email address you want to email me your paypal email and your address shipping address so that we can send you guys the invoice thank you sharon for letting us know that we are doing a fantastic job we hope so we hope you're having fun all right next up this is actually i i have not this is one of those pieces that's brand new um, it is EAPG, which is early American pattern glass. Some people say early American press glass, but it is early American pattern glass. Um, this is a gorgeous iridescent white carnival glass, and it is a heron. I don't know if you could see the heron. Heron, and it is a heron fishing. So there's fish on the bottom base, and then the heron up top. Um, and this is a toothpick holder, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is probably more so or less antique, I would imagine. Um, and it measures to a pinch under three and a half inches tall. Um, and this crane, or excuse me, heron fishing toothpick holder, iridescent white glass can be yours for a price of $9 with the number... 36. Yes, it is very pretty, Nate. All right. The winner is Casey ATX. All right, our last milk glass piece of the evening is an imperial glass, milk glass, swan open. And this is gorgeous. It actually kind of has like a a pinkish hue to it almost. Yeah, you hold see that? to the light and see the ring of fire. Well, you can see it on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, and this is a really nice intricate swan design too as you can see right there now this is old imperial glass this is before they started marking imperial glass with the ig um typically there would be a sticker on the inside of this um these can sell for a good amount of money too it's kind of crazy um i have this actually in purple slag glass also and it's about Three and a half inches tall, and then from beak to tail, about four and three-fourths inches. Now, this milk glass imperial, 
Imperial glass milk glass swan <laughs> can be yours for a price of only eleven dollars with the number twenty nine. Twenty nine. The winner is Oh My Vintage. You are the winner. All right. Four, three pieces left. Two pieces left. Three. We got three. We got three. Four. Two, two pieces left. I'm eating in the middle. Three. You're saying two. She's saying four. We got three pieces left. Okay? No, because that two more would make 35 pieces. Blow Come on. We're gonna blow through it. It's just three. Okay. So if you were with us last <laughs> last week, we had a imperial glass carnival glass toothpick holder that was like uh, the purple carnival glass. Well, I found another imperial glass Hob Star toothpick holder in the marigold color, and it is gorgeous. Like the light on this one coming in and the window so crazy. And it measures to about two and a half inches tall. And this can be yours for a price of only $7 with the number 30. Number 30. KCATX, you are the winner. All right. So this is the piece that my deuce wanted me to price for like $20 because I think she wanted to keep it for herself, but, I don't need it, but, so <laughs> but it is very pretty. I mean, it's just that really perfect color of purple because it's not too dark. It's not too light. You can kind of see the light and you have the gorgeous pattern on there. This is the pattern. It goes all the way down to the top. Oh, shout out to my boy, Nate. Thank you for the super chat. As always, brother. I really appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Huge supporter. Thank you, boss. So this is actually made by Pilgrim Glass. And the name of the pattern is Bennington. It is gorgeous and it measures four inches tall. This is a really hard piece to find, too. Do not forget that. I'm kind of surprised that I could find it myself. I got super lucky. It can be yours for the price of $15 with the number 37. My, oh, Bill Tackett, you won. I'm glad it went to a good home. <laughs> My Duke said she's glad it went to a good home. All right. So this is the last piece of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you guys for joining us as always, and we look forward to it. Do not forget, if there's something that you guys like, that you enjoy, that you want to see, all you have to do is comment on this video, send us a message on Instagram, and we will bring it to our live sale for you next Monday. So here we go. Opalescent Blue. Now, this particular piece has been made by multiple companies. Um, you can tell that this is made by LG Wright because the center piece is not hollow. The glass is filled right there at the bottom. Nonetheless, this is an absolutely stunning opalescent blue piece. The name of this pattern is called Beaded Ivy, and it is made by LG Wright. You can see the beads right there. Gorgeous opalescent blue piece right here. Look at that. That is just a gorgeous piece. I mean, I love it. We love it. All right. So that piece can be yours for a price of only $13. If you give me number 
19. The winner is Blue Flamingo. All right. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm just going to show these. What piece was it? Just these two? Yeah. All right. Just in case anybody missed it, we're going to show you these two pieces that nobody claimed one more time. If you are interested, this is your last chance to grab them. The first one was the Made in England Mother of Pearl Lusterware and Gold Teapot. And the price on that teapot is $14, and the number is 7. And then the other piece was this flower and plaid hot water pop pitcher, and this was Matori Ware. And that was $11 with the number six. All right. So, once again, we want to thank All right. Everybody. Janet Ortega, you are the winner. Oh, on the hot water pot. There you go. So, first off, I want to thank my lovely girlfriend and amazing Ma Dukes for helping me through this process. I told them my, that I would do my best to get this under, um, under, uh, under an hour and a half, and we're at one hour and 26 minutes. So I hope they're happy with me. Yeah. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces that I put together for you this week. Uh, and I, I, for me, it, it's at first it was super difficult, but now I kind of have fun trying to like figure out what would you guys like? What, mm -hmm. what makes you guys happy? So Halloween decoration, <laughs> my Dukes wants me to start throwing in some, some different, uh, uh, holiday different items. holiday items. So I'm going to start working on that for you guys More too. Costumes. Um, and please don't forget if you guys see something that you want and you, you want me to bring it to the, to the sale. All you got to do is let me know, and I'll make it happen, Captain. Uh, thank you, guys, as always. And all the winners, uh, if you send me your information, your PayPal email, and your mailing address tomorrow, I can start working on invoices tomorrow and then maybe get these things shipped out to you guys as early as Wednesday because uh, we'd like to work fast here. So let's get it done. Everybody have a lovely evening. Thank you, as always, for joining us. We can't thank you enough. Have a great night. Peace. Whoa, we did get it under.